A lorry driver from Northamptonshire says sending the military into Calais is the only solution to the growing problem of illegal immigrants trying to enter the UK. Peter Clark, who lives in Desborough, was waiting to catch a ferry and asked French officials to search his lorry. Now, they declined, but when the UK border force found five people hiding inside the cement mixer, he was fined £2,000. Stuart Ratcliffe has the story. For truckers, a trip through Calais has become a nightmare. Even with the new wire fencing with the razor wire on top, they just throw a coat over the razor wire, climb over, and then they're running around loose in the port, and that's just before we're about to catch a ferry. After a trip to Italy, Peter Clark was driving through Calais en route back to Northampton. Before boarding the ferry, he asked French border police to check his load. They refused, so he asked UK officials to also have a look. He said, yeah, just pull over. So I pulled over, went in the shed, and that's when I discovered five Vietnamese. And just describe whereabouts they were on the truck. Just... They were in the barrel, and which I, I can't climb up the barrel. And they, they obviously, they probably climbed shinned along up to the top and dropped in the top. And because of that, Peter has now been landed with a £2,000 fine. And for his company, the situation at Calais has already cost them up to £60,000. They now want the government to act. So certainly someone from the transport department needs to go and see it. Um, you know, it seems that the media and the general public have a lot of sympathy for our drivers, but it's those that are really high up, the government, that are fining our drivers when, they, when they're caught with immigrants, when actually the last thing that they want is to have anyone on their vehicle. Their local MP, Philip Hollibone, has raised the issue in Westminster, but he believes it's for the French to take more responsibility. Governments can always do more, our government could do more, but to my mind it's quite clear that the blame lays with the French authorities. Uh, and they seem to be very happy, of course they would, to make sure that, to allow these people to come all the way over to Britain without checking vehicles properly. I think our government should say to the French, this simply isn't good enough. And if they haven't got the people to search these vehicles, maybe we should send our people over to France. But meanwhile, as the argument rages about how to try and resolve the migrant crisis, today Peter heads off again to Italy, not quite knowing who or what might try and return with him. Stu Dragley, BBC Look East. Well, those are tonight's main stories, but there's much more to come.